topic about uh, strum level problems and uh, here is my first page and uh, so some definitions of strum level problem is here special types of boundary value problems is the basics BVP in which the ordinary differential equation in the problem contains a parameter lambda the values of lambda for which the boundary value problems possess non-trivial solutions are called eigenvalues in previous time we learned that this topic eigenvalues the corresponding solutions of eigenvalues are called eigenfunctions okay in uh, previous lecture we also learned eigenfunctions understand there is a connection between orthogonal sets and eigenfunctions of a boundary value problem okay boundary value problems of this type are very important sum of linear ordinary differential equations with their general solutions are as follows y prime plus alpha y is equal to 0 its general solution is y is equal to c1 e power negative alpha x y double prime plus a alpha square y is equal to 0 where a greater than 0 not equal to 0 and uh, its general solution is y is equal to c1 cos alpha x plus c2 sin alpha x x y double prime plus y prime plus alpha square x y is equal to 0 its general solution is y is equal to c1 j naught alpha x j naught of alpha x plus c2 y naught of alpha x i hope you understand very well the problem in previous examples are special cases of an important general general two point boundary value problem solve here this equation derivative r of x y prime plus q of x plus lambda p of x y is equal to 0 introducing 1 subject a1 of y a1 y of a plus b1 y prime of a is equal to 0 a2 y of b plus a2 y prime of b is equal to 0 is said to be a regular stram level problem self adjoint form the form p naught of x y double prime plus p1 of x y prime plus p2 of x y plus lambda r of x y is equal to 0 b1 of y is equal to 0 b2 of y is equal to 0 introducing 2 where b1 of y is equal to alpha y of a plus beta y prime of a and b2 of y is equal to p y of b plus chronicle delta multiplied by y prime which was derivative of b where alpha beta p and chronicle lambda chronicle delta are real numbers with alpha square plus beta square greater than 0 and pi square plus chronicle delta square greater than 0 is called self adjoint form where p naught comma p1 comma p2 and r are continuous functions and p naught and r are positive on interval a comma b closed interval a comma b means a and b are also present we say that lambda is an eigenvalue of equation and if equation has non-trivial solution then y is an eigenfunction associated with lambda so operator of stem level the si operator is as follows l of y is equal to d by dx p of x function derivative of y with respect to x plus q of x <coughs> y and consider the stem level equation here L capital L of y plus lambda r of x y is equal to 0 where p greater than 
are equal to comma r greater than 0 and p comma q and r are continuous functions on the interval a comma b along with the boundary conditions bc b1 of y <coughs> is equal to alpha y of a plus beta y prime of a and b2 of y is equal to p y of b plus chronicle delta multiplied by y prime of b where alpha beta p and chronicle delta are real numbers with alpha square plus beta square is not equal to zero and p square plus chronicle delta square is not equal to zero here types of SLP stram Lyon problem how many types so here are types without wasting of time let's go a SLP stram Lyon problem is called regular if p greater than 0 and r greater than 0 on interval closed interval a comma b SLP stram Lyon problem is called regular singular singular if p greater than 0 <coughs> on interval a comma b open interval and r greater than or equal to 0 on this interval a comma b and p of a is equal to p of b is equal to 0 third a slp is called periodic if p greater than 0 r greater than 0 and p comma q and r are continuous function on the closed interval a comma b along with the boundary conditions bc here are the boundary condition y of a is equal to y of b y prime of a is equal to y prime of b the most common types of slp is term level problem are regular and periodic here are our functioning properties of regular stram level problem slp the eigenvalues of the regular slp are real the eigenfunctions of a regular slp corresponding to the distinct eigenvalues are orthogonal with respect to the function weight function in previous lecture i hope you see my previous lecture weight function on weight function from ODE then R of X on interval close interval A comma B by other words if the eigenfunctions U and B correspond to the distinct eigenvalues lambda and U then definite integrator to B R of X U of X V of X DX is equal to 0 this is very known known function the eigenvalues of the regular SLP are simple. This is an eigen function that corresponds to an eigenvalue is unique up to a constant multiple. The regular SL operator, stem level operator L is self-adjoint if whenever u comma v belongs to c square of a comma b union c power 1 of interval a comma b and satisfy the regular slp and bc then interval a comma b v l of u sorry minus u l of v dx is equal to zero there exists an infinite number of real values that can be arranged in increasing order lambda 1 less than lambda 2 less than lambda 3 less than up to less than lambda n less than up to so on such that lambda n this implies that infinity is n this implies that infinity both are same and for each for each eigenvalue there is only one eigenfunction except for non-zero constant multiples eigenfunctions corresponding to different eigenvalues are linearly independent the set of eigenfunctions corresponding to the set of eigenvalues is orthogonal with respect to the weight function p of x on the interval comma b close interval here's the solution 
of stamp libel problem SLP. A non zero function y here the yellow arrow in introducing a non zero function y that solves the stamp libel problem p of x y prime in its whole prime plus q of x plus lambda r of x y is equal to zero a less than x less than b this is an interval with boundary conditions this on this interval is called an eigen function and the corresponding value of lambda is called its eigen value the stem level problem has eigen values for lambda for which non zero solutions exists there exists eigen value and eigen function for both regular and regular singular problem find the eigen values of the regular stem level problem by double prime plus lambda y is equal to 0 here are some conditions y of 0 is equal to y of l L is any operator of some level problem is equal to zero. The solution of the problem is as follows: lambda, not the lambda is equal to lambda n is equal to n square pi square over l square again. We use y is equal to y n is equal to sine n pi x over l's operator eigen functions for n is equal. To, no, here we note that n pi x divided by its SL operator okay in previous page we learn sl operator you understand very well for n is equal to 1 2 3 up to so on here are the n's value y is n's value it means y may be 1 y n may be 1 n may be 2 n may be 3 n may be up to nth okay so let's move find the eigen values of the regular stem level problem y double prime second derivative of y plus lambda y is equal to 0 0 less than x less than l l is operator sl operator and here is equation and on this interval then here are the condition y of 0 is equal to 0 previous conditions the solution of the problem is as follows lambda is equal to lambda n is equal to u square n eigen values for the positive and here is the eigen functions so here are the n's values n may be 1 and may be 2 n -th. find the eigen values of the regular stem level problems here is the equation x square y double prime plus x y prime plus lambda square x square minus m square of y is equal to 0 on this interval 0 less than x less than a hit open interval y of 0 is finite y of a is equal to 0 the solution of the problem is as follows lambda is equal to lambda n alpha m n divided by a eigen values for the lamb alpha m n positive 0 of basal function j m y is equal to y n is equal to j m lambda n of x eigen functions for n is equal to 1 2 3 the eigen values are lambda square n is equal to alpha square m in or a square divided by a square so today's topic ends here here are written also so i hope and i wish and I pray that you understand my video lecture on PPT file. You understand and you got it very well. And my teaching method is very simple. And I given to you the material of whole of mathematics. And this is a differential equation. This is a very simple topic for postgraduate students and i suggest you that subscribe my youtube channel press the bell icon the above option click on the above option so thanks for watching my video allah hafiz jazakallah